Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate maximum shear stress in a shaft. As you can see in the diagram, we have a shaft with four forces A, B, C, and D. A is a anti-clockwise, sorry, A is a clockwise which is minus, B is a anti-clockwise which is plus. C is also anti-clockwise, is also plus. So we have a formula to calculate maximum shear stress in a shaft. How do we calculate it? As you can see, I have uh, drawn a table which is which express zero zero lines, and at the bottom of that line is minus, and at the top of the line is positive plus. So from that diagram, we have to find out first what is a maximum torque. Okay, as you can see at point A, this is point A, this is point B, C and this is D. At point A, it says we have minus 30. So, minus 30 we are here somewhere. Okay, and then at B, we have 55. So, minus 3. So I draw a line, line is here, then from A to B we go with a straight line and then it says you need to go 55 unit or 55 foot uh, multiplied by LBS upwards, of course, positive, that's why it's upwards. So it, we will go up and we will reach to 25. So minus 30 plus 55, we get 25. And then we go to point C, of course, with the indication of a straight line. And then it says at point 20, we have, uh, sorry, at point C, we have 20 foot uh, multiplied by LBS. We will go upwards, 20 units. So we are here, 45. And then we will go to point D. So the, the place is not so enough, I will say 30 here. And at point D, it says minus 45. So these are the numbers. So I will come down to D 40, 45 and this is here we are at the line of zero. So that means the maximum torque we have 45 foot by LBS. Now, we have to use this value into this formula. So, how do we do that? This is tau max. Of course, this is equal to T. We have tau. Tau maximum is equal to TC. So, TC is 45 C is basically a radius of shaft. We have a diameter of shaft is 1 inch and C is a radius of that shaft which is 0 0.5 inch. So of course this is in inches we will calculate into feet and then I will multiply by 12 then multiply by C is 0 0.5. So divided by now we have a J. What is J? J is basically polar moment of inertia and for that, for this particular shaft, the value for polar moment is pi over 2 multiplied by radius. Radius as I have said we express with the C which is 0 0.5. So if we calculate, if we put that into, into our calculator, so we will get 2700 50 lb over square inch and if I convert into KSI then that will be 2.75 KSI so I will briefly explain once again we are trying to calculate shear stress in our shaft we have a formula for maximum shear stress of course which is tau is equal to TC over J. What is T? T 
T is internal torque which we have to calculate through this diagram as you can see we have just simply calculated. C is a radius of that shaft diameter is 1 and C is a radius which is 0 0.5 as you can see here. And then we have a J. J is a polar moment of inertia for this particular section of a particular shaft of a particular element each element have different moment of polar moment of inertia in our case we have pi over 2 multiplied by radius radius as i have said we express with the c which is 0 0.5 so here you we can get our answer 2550 sorry that's it for today. I hope you have understood. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.